so I'm back and I'm filming your my October favorites today. Um, I had to do a double video because I don't know when I'll have time to film next. So I have a ton of stuff here to go through, so I'm going to kind of go through a little bit um, or as quickly as possible so I can get through them all without making this a super long video. So um, I have a couple nail products here. There's these three by Deborah Lippmann. Actually, they're all by Deborah Lippmann, but... There's these three, which came in a set. This was their holiday set, which was called Rock This Town, and it came in a gold box. Um, this is from Nordstrom, and um, it's a really, really, really cool um, set. So I'm sure you're not going to be able to see just how amazing these are, but they are like super metallic and... Um, super shimmery and shiny. It is a limited edition collection, so if you can get your hands on it, maybe if your Nordstrom still carries it or if you can find it online, um, I'll try and see if I can track them down and put a link down below where you guys can get them because they are amazing. Um, the next one by Deborah Lippmann is a permanent shade and this is Swagga Like Us and it has like that duochrome green gold going on and it's very similar to Chanel's famous Peridot, but in my opinion, I think this one's cooler. And the Deborah Lippmann shades are so much better than the, uh, or the Deborah Lippmann polishes are so much better than Chanel. They last a lot longer. Okay, by YSL, I have these two um, cream blushes. They're the Creme de Blush. This one is in um, number four. And it's this neon orange shade. So they're kind of like a mousse-like formula. I don't know if you can see that. You can kind of sheer them out and they're really pretty. And then the other one is number five and it's a hot pink. And I am absolutely loving these. And I'll put that next to the orange. I don't know if you can see that. No, I didn't put enough on. And then again, you could shear that out. And um, they look kind of scary in the pan, but you can really shear them out to be a really nice, pretty, subtle glow. Also by YSL, I have my first ever, whoops, my first ever glossy stain. If you guys don't know what these these are, they are like the new hot product. Well, they're not new. They're about a year old or so, um, but they're just like, you can't keep these on the shelves. They just fly off the shelf like woo. anyway this is in the shade 17 the cool thing about these is yes they are stains and yes they are glossy how are they both at the same time don't ask me but they are so this is number 17 which is like a pretty barbie pink and i love it um the next product is my probably my all-time favorite product of this month um seth from Sethic and Seven made me need it, and so I ordered it, and it is Chanel. Um, and it is, I don't know, some of you guys might have seen this online or in the magazines, it is their um, limited edition gray blush. Yes, it is gray. And you're like, what are you gonna do with that? And I'll tell you, contour, contour with it. If you're pale like I am, you might notice how anything you contour with looks like you rubbed some dirt on your face, but not this one. Nope. It's called Notorious, and I will post a link down below where you can get it, um, you know, while supplies last. Uh, Laura Mercier Lipstick in Mistress. It is what Joan wears on uh, Mad Men. It's like a corally red and it is smoking hot that's all I have to say about that um I got two Sonia Kashuk products from Target this is her blush brush and I fell in love with this when I saw it because I have been looking for the perfect blush brush in I, I can my whole life um I just wanted a completely circular dome brush that fit in directly on the apples of your cheeks. Is that so hard to ask? Apparently it is because they're always flat, so you have to like tap it. I wanted to dip it in the product and put it on my cheeks. Like 
that's all I want them to do, okay? And they're always, there's just something, there's always something. They're too fluffy, or they're too dense, or they're too flat, or they're like too big, or they're too small. And it's like, I saw this and it was like, oh hi, I'm perfect. And I bought it. And I'm like, okay, I have like a $60 Trish McAvoy blush brush. It is the softest hairs you've ever felt in your life. But guess what? I find myself reaching for this one. Ouch. <laughs> also by Sonia Kashik is this blush. It's called number 51 Flushed and it's the beautifying blush. Look at this. Isn't that adorable? It's like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's pink, but it's not like pink pink. It's not like any pink. It's like I don't know. It's not peachy, but it is a little bit, it has like a little bit of peach to it. I don't know. You can see it. Decide for yourself. Um, this is not a new product, but I've definitely been using it a lot this, or last month, which is this Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. I mentioned it in one of my videos, and I stopped using it for a while because I thought that it made like my under eyes like a little cakey and it was just making them look kind of like wrinkly which is not a good idea um but then I think it was just whatever eye cream I was using just wasn't cutting it and my eyes were really dry because I have been using this all last month and now I can't live without it because it just keeps my concealer on all day and it actually brightens them up more like one time I accidentally got some like under here and I looked like ghostly like I had like these white rings so it's like you really just have to do it right underneath it because it really brightens it works foundation okay I've been testing it out all month and I finally got the full size it's the Estee Lauder double wear light so you guys know I work for Estee Lauder but I don't have to love it but guess what I do I love this foundation um I'm in the shade Intensity 1.0, it's um, the lightest shade, of course, but this foundation is amazing, especially if you have oily combo skin like me. I don't even need to powder this after. In fact, if I powder it, I feel like it's a little too dry, okay? And that never happens to me. This stays on all day until you wash it off. I'm not even joking with you. All day. Whenever I wear this, people come up to me and they're like, what are you wearing? You have the most perfect porcelain skin. I'm never going to not use this. I mean, come on. Who doesn't want to hear that all day, every day? Double wear light. They have the regular double wear, which is just as good. But if you want something a little bit lighter, obviously. By Clarins, um, the, what is this called? The Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector. And this is in the shade 01. And it's called... Uh, the name's not on here. It was on the box, and I remember it to be something rose. So it's the pink one. There's like a pink one, a peach one, and another one. I don't know, but it's this one. It's something rose. Number one. So it has like a little sponge applicator. You squeeze it. It comes out, and then it just has a little bit of color. The thing about this is it's like a lip balm with some color to it, and it's it feels amazing on your lips and it is so shiny like a gloss so your lips look amazing and shiny they have a little bit of color but hey you're moisturizing you're moisturizing um I did just buy I just got this yesterday but I'm just gonna include it because why not it's like already a favorite so it's by Lancome it's a Lancome eyeshadow and if you follow me on Instagram I you saw this already it's their color design eyeshadow and all that glitters and boy does it ever it's like you get a lot of fallout because it's like literally it's like pressed glitter almost because it's so shimmery but I can't even I like can't even just uh, it's like a taupey grayish green shimmer and it's like the shimmeriest thing you've ever seen in your life, literally. I wear it. I wore it yesterday. So many people were like, what is that? Like, that is amazing. And it is. If you're, next time you're near a Lancome, Lancome counter, check that out. You'll be like, what? You'll be blown away. I have one more thing and I don't remember. Oh, here it is. 
I just bought this today, so obviously it doesn't count on my October favorites, but you're obviously gonna forgive it because it's Chanel. And I love it. Ready? Watch this, okay? So, yep. Yep. I'm wearing it today. It is number 94, ecstatic with a Q. Let's just take a moment and enjoy this. How important do I look holding this? I mean, I think my status just went up like a lot, you know? No, really though, I'm like so ridiculous for spending this money, but I just, you know, you know how I am, so. We're all like that. That's why we do this, right? That's why you're watching these videos. That's why I'm filming them. So we're all the same. So I don't have to feel so guilty. So that's all of my October favorites. I hope I didn't forget anything. But if I did, you don't care because like I've already showed you like 50 million things. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.